Hey, how's it going? I am Merkaba18. Today I'm going to do another video in which I am trying to imagine what a Rainbow Six Siege Operator would look like if they were ever implemented in Rainbow Six Extraction. As always, this is a video based purely on my imagination and nothing else, so have some fun with it. Enjoy the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like it if you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you would please because it helps me out immensely and uh, you know what? It makes me smile, so there. So we're going to show you, uh, today is Oryx, and I think Oryx would be one of the most interesting additions to Rainbow Six Extraction. Uh, he would remind me a lot of um, Sledge in a number of different ways, and we'll talk about why that is. So one, I always say this, but the thing to keep in mind is that they don't have to balance this around competitive PvP. Uh, and so you would see something very, very similar to this. I think you'd probably see some major buffs as it relates to progression in Rainbow Six Extraction with Oryx. But what does Oryx do in Siege? So let's talk about it. Here's what he does. He breaches. Look at that wall hole. Boom, another one. So as you can see, it creates an even bigger hole there. Now, when you breach with Oryx in Siege, it can do damage, as you see there. Um, so I would see that probably not as part of Extraction. It's sort of the way they have balanced him. He creates a giant hole, but they need it to do a little bit of damage so that you're not just running around like creating giant holes everywhere, right? And as you can see with, it, with Siege, it makes a ton of noise. So it's important to remember that Breaching is not as important, especially given that he's on defense. You want to prevent breaches most of the time rather than create them. And uh, it's going to do damage to you. It's going to create a lot of noise. Uh, so I would see something like that in Extraction. You're going to definitely, like, let's say you're breaching this wall and there's a bunch of enemies on the other side. You're going to want to be careful because obviously now you're standing in a bunch of random enemies. So there's a way to balance that the same way that they balance everything. So that is one of the things that he does. In addition to that, he will charge and knock down enemies. It's sort of a direct counter. Uh, the best way to think of him is, is a sort of a direct counter to shielded uh, ops like Monty or Blitz or Clash or whoever else. And uh, I would see that less important in Extraction given that you don't really need to counter much of anything. You just need to balance it. Uh, so what I... So what that will do is he'll charge forward. You get to use that as many times as you want to. It is on a cooldown. So I would see that also directly implemented within Extraction if it's ever brought in. And then one of the coolest things that I can see that doing is obviously, let's say there's a room full of, um, like, a room full of enemies on the other side. You can double dash, like, immediately rather than having to wait on a cooldown. So dash twice in a row so that you could dash through the wall and then destroy anything within a short range. Uh, create a little bit of a double dash with a long cooldown. Uh, the other thing I could see it doing that would be really, really fun to watch is uh, like a counter to smashers where if they're running at you or if they're coming directly at you, much the same way Sledge can charge up his hammer, you can charge up your dash and run at a smasher and do to them what they do to you or to any other Urkian. Stun them, knock them down, eviscerate them if they're low enough level, etc. So the, that's one major thing that I could see here. The other part of that that I can imagine is maybe you charge at, because as it stands right now, even with Sledge, you can't really run up and melee uh, an Apex. And we talked about this in some of my other videos, or we'll talk about it in some of the other ones going forward too with some of the other ops, is there's gotta be some way they're gonna have to eventually, I hope, add new abilities and new uh, enemies to the game. But as it stands right now, there's no way to walk up to a uh, Apex and just try to melee them. So with Oryx, I can think I can think of one way that they would bring something to the table. You charge at them, remove their shield temporarily and stun them. And then through a separate action, you can either shoot them or take them down or whatever it may be. Uh, that would be kind of kind of fun to see, fun and interesting. So that is basically what, the way I can kind of see Oryx being added to the game. I don't know if we'll see much more or different than that. Uh, I think that he's going to have probably high armor and high speed. Uh, very like melee oriented, very like in your face sort of style. And uh, it's something that would be really interesting to see added in Extraction. It's an element that we don't have quite at the moment. And I think it'd be great. So what do you guys think? What did I get wrong? What did I get right? Let me know what you want to see next in this series. Who do you think I should do a video on so that we can add it to the series? And uh, let me know what you think. And I will see you again for the next video. Thank you for watching.